Happy Friday, everybody. It's hashtag FAQ Friday, live from my office in the Lake District. And we're coming up to 2024. And it's all about reflecting, learning from the year and growing. A year end review for your personal and business success. So I wanted to share some strategies, some ideas for you to help and support you because as the year draws to a close, it's a perfect time to embark on a journey of reflection, both for you personally and professionally. So let's look at taking stock of the last 12 months and celebrating achievements and learning from the challenges because they can help pave the way for a more successful and fulfilling year ahead. I wanted to help you to explore the importance of reviewing the year uh, in both your personal and business aspects simply because it's important for you and your business and it's an invaluable learning and opportunity it will bring. So I would invite you to focus on the whole picture, your business and your personal life. Sometimes um, when our businesses or personal goals don't go to plan, we tend to forget what has gone well or vice versa. Uh, we forget to have an all rounded approach, which unfortunately, if we don't have a well, a well-rounded approach, then we don't get the best foundations to plan for the future. So let's help you to get the best foundation to plan your strategy for the year ahead. And that's with the whole rounded approach, the, the falls and against and the, the positives and the negatives. So let's review the business year. Looking at it with a strategic approach, look at your goal, achievement and strategy. As business leaders, we consistently assess our achievements as setting the goals because it is vitally paramount. And did your business reach the milestone you envisaged at the beginning of the year 2023? Look at it, reflect on it, on the strategies that worked and those that didn't, get provide uh, and help it provide crucial insights for the future planning. So what was the goals and the strategy and can you analyze whether they were smart, objective, specific, measurable, achievable, uh, whether the achievable was challenging and realistic and time bound and was each step project managed and was it diarized? What did you learn from this and what opportunities did they create? So when you've answered all those questions, these are really important to actually devise your foundations for the strategy ahead. And then look at the financial health and efficient, operational efficiency. Look at a thorough examination of your financial statements is great. However, you've got to know your numbers. So looking at your operational processes, is essential, but knowing your numbers in the present tense, so not uh, after the event, so not looking back when you're speaking to your accountant, but know it right now. What's your numbers like right now? Because uh, that is the most crucial part of your business where you can do something about it in the time you have got. So identify areas of financial growth, look at cost saving opportunities and operational bottlenecks and streamlining your processes based on these findings can significantly contribute to business efficiency. This is so, so important, especially right now as people are talking about an economic crisis. So customer satisfaction and market position is important. You've got to create raving fans in your business and know what your position is in the market against your competition. So what do you what do your customers think about your products, facilities and services? And look at your customer feedback because it's a gold mine for improvement. Use this information to enhance customer satisfaction, refine your marketing strategies, making sure that you're online with exactly where your media channels are and any of your sales funnels for the awareness elements and solidify your position in the market. It's really, really important. All these elements are really important. But look also and, and 
we have still a staffing crisis that's ongoing. Some businesses are doing really well out of it. Some people are struggling. But look at employee performance and development within your organisation. A successful business is built on the strength of its team. Uh, you're only as good as your weak weakest link and acknowledge and celebrate the achievements of all your employees. Identify areas for professional development or personal development within your team and ensure a positive work environment, but a positive work culture that fosters growth and collaboration. It's, it's so crucial. And all these elements I keep saying are, but it really is, all these elements will help you make a, a great solid foundation for the year ahead. Review the personal year nurturing well-being and growth. Are you doing that for yourself? Have you got your own oxygen mask on? And do you do it for your, your team and your business? Look at goal reflection and personal development. Take a moment to reflect on your personal goals and really think, what have, you, what have you celebrated? What have you achieved? Celebrate your accomplishments, no matter how small they are, and understand the lessons from the goals that weren't met. What stopped you? If it's I haven't got time, that's rubbish. We've all got 24 hours in the day. Personal development is an ongoing journey and learning from experiences shapes our future success. Any business leader will tell you the same thing. Health and work-life balance. Your health is your wealth. So work-life balance is key. Your, evaluate your physical and mental well-being on an ongoing basis. Did you maintain a healthy work-life balance? Identify areas for improvement and commit to prioritising self-care in the coming year. See how you can diarise your time. I started yoga this year, uh, later on in the year to be fair, because I realised I wasn't doing enough. So I actually committed to a block booking. Relationship building and connections. Nurturing your personal relationships is important, is vitally important because I see many CEOs and successful business leaders who are doing very, very well in their business, but they're not successful in their relationships. So re reflect on how well you maintain connections with family and friends. And we can all fall foul of this, myself included, and I teach it. Look at consider investing time in building and strengthening meaningful relationships. And then learning from the challenges. This is so key. Rather than focusing on the negative of them, learn from them. Challenges are inevitable, both in business and personal life. And instead of viewing them as setbacks or negativity, see them as opportunities for growth. What did you learn from the challenges you face? How can this knowledge propel you forward? What grounding force will it give you? A learning and opportunity, the power of reflection. Reflecting is really important, but don't stay there too long. Strategic planning for the future. The insights you gain from reviewing the year, the past provide a solid foundation for strategic planning. Armed with a clear understanding of what worked and what didn't, you can set realistic, actionable goals for the up and coming year ahead. And that's so key, giving them smart objectives. Look at continuous improvements, reflecting on both successes and the failures Failures is learning, by the way, fosters a culture of continuous improvement. Embrace the mindset that there is always room for growth and development throughout your whole organisation, whether it's in your personal life or within the dynamics of your business. And opportunity recognition. The lessons learned from the year end review will really open your eyes. You may have forgotten a lot of what you've done throughout the year because it was so far away that you can't remember. But open your eyes to opportunities you might have missed, whether it's a market trend, a skill gap, or a chance for personal development within yourself or within your team. 
or even your business and seizing these op opportunities because they can lead to transform transformative outcomes. Then, so important for foundations, it is the mortar on the bricks, the strengthening, the resilience. Resilience is a key trait in navigating the unpredictable nature of life and business. The ability to adapt and learn from experiences enhances your resilience, ensuring you're better equipped to face whatever challenges the future holds. Remember, you can only focus on what you have control on, but you can be resilient on the things you can't control. So as the year comes to an end, use this time for a comprehensive review that encompasses both personal and business aspects. Embrace the learning opportunities, celebrate all your wins and your successes, and step into the new year with a clear vision, resilience, and a commitment to continuous improvement in you and your business and your team and your business. The journey of reflection is not just about looking back, it's about preparing for a brighter and more successful future. So I hope that's helped and supported you. As always, we're here, Alison at AJ Lakes, to help and support you to make that transition and to help and support you to build your solid foundations in your business, but to challenge you to really grasp some incredible outcomes, some incredible results that you're probably not thinking about at the moment. We could mind map it through and, and we could really pull everything out and, and look at it from a helicopter view because that's so important. So many business owners and managers are operators right now and not seeing the business for what it really is and what difference you can be really making. And it's so important that you as 2024 it's coming to uh, the forefront very very soon only a couple of days left now it's really important that you look and you get help and support to be able to make 2024 your best year so get in touch now whether it's for a quick introductory call alison at ajlakes.com or ajlakes.com have a look on the website Got an introductory call, 20 minutes, free of charge, no obligation. Uh, or the mentoring program, where you, it's a group peer-to-peer -peer experience or one-to-one -one with me. But let me help you because we've got a training academy, which helps, which has an amazing workshop, Smashing Your Goals workshop for the year ahead, which keeps you accountable and keeps you planning in the right way by looking at what you've done in the past, and what you've missed to what opportunities that is created and what learnings that we can pull from that. So I hope that's helped and supported you. As always, we're here to help and support. It'd be great if you can like, follow, share and subscribe to hear more top tips and more help and support from AJ Lakes because we're here to make sure that 2024 is making a massive positive difference for you, your team and your business. May I wish you all the very best. Happy New Year and take care. Thank you for joining me and thank you for joining me throughout 2023 and thank you for supporting AJ Legs. Have a great Friday, happy Friday and happy weekend. Take care, bye bye.